Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Unturned. So, ladies and gentlemen, last episode we were obviously still in Hawaii and we have been, oh yes, we activated the Horde Beacon in Hilo when we fought the Horde in Hilo. We managed to defeat the Horde and that was pretty much all we did. We just fought the Horde in Hilo and that, and that was literally it. So today I want to go and I want to do the next Horde that is on the list. And, you know, it's an R1 from Ensign Stewart. And our mission from Ensign Stewart, and it's actually at the Alaka base, as you know. So we're going to be going and clearing out Alaka base. We're going to be using a Horde Beacon in Alaka base today. We do have quite a few weapons, so they should help us out to clear out this goddamn Horde. I think we have a PDW of 100 bullets. We have a Timberwolf, a sniper rifle with free fillable ammunition. We have a minigun. Yep, we have a minigun right here. A huge minigun. And we also have, oh uh, yes, uh, machine gun, which is pretty interesting. I think, yeah, look, the game had an update. Yeah, the game was updated, and now it's changed. Yeah, look, they changed the game quite a bit. The game looks a bit different, and the game feels a bit different, because, look, now the text kind of is a bit different. Maybe not here, but, look, you can see the text here yeah, has a bit of a black background behind it, yeah. Because the game did have an update recently, so, yeah. And all the text has a bit of a background, and everything looks a bit different and interesting, and probably better. To be honest, but that's a pretty cool. Yeah, what else has changed now? This is here. Yeah, I'm Paragon apparently, whatever the hell Paragon means, but I'm that now, I guess. Mm -hmm. The map looks all the same. Here we are, we're in obviously in Alica Base, where we finished off last episode, right here. Quest, this isn't, yeah, this hasn't changed. Yeah, it, it wasn't a big update, it's just a small, tiny little update. But yeah, skills all the same, that's where we were. Crafting menu, episode all the same, right? It just looks like they changed the text. That's really all they, that really, that's pretty much all they changed, I guess. Whatever, anyway, here we are, right here in Alaka base, and we have a yeah, mission to clear it out, yeah, look, you can see on the right hand side, the military base, clear Alaka base using a horde beacon, so I want to do that, I want to go clear out this base using obviously a horde beacon, get that ticked off the list, and then move on to the next one, which, and the next one's either this one in Hulaka Harbor, or it's going to be another one from the end sign, we're going to find out which one it is in a second, for now let's just find the goddamn... Hard beacon, which you don't have. I think they made my inventory smaller. It does seem like it, but on the other hand, I'm, I'm not sure. Anyway, I think it's. Uh, I need to give the yeah, give Tabby waiver sixty nine slash. What is the ID for a goddamn hard beacon? One two seven one is one two seven one is the gas filter, of course. Okay, that's something that I want. All right, give me a second. I'm gonna quickly Google. What a, um, yeah, hard beacon ideas. Alright, so the ID for a hard beacon is obviously 1194 or 1194, 1194, however the hell you want to say it. 1194, right there, we got it. How can I forget? I do not know. But the thing is about the hard beacon, it's when I hold it, it looks like, and like when I even look at it in, my, in the menu, or when I look at it from like this view, it's basically an orange, uh, whatchamacallit, an orange generator. It's literally an orange generator, but when I place it down, it looks completely different. Which is interesting. So, yeah, I guess let's place it down. But yeah, look, this is how it looks when I place it down. And it's like, it's basically an orange generator, but if we had things sticking off it. But the model that I'm holding doesn't actually have these weird things sticking off it. Which is interesting, I must say, but, well, whatever. Anyways, place this thing down, and all these zombies that you can see here will come running after me. Try to kill me. This filter is annoying me, so let's quickly pick it up and dump it elsewhere. And yeah, let's just kill all these zombies using all of our weapons that we have, and yeah, yeah throw it over here. And get that ticked off the list. Good. Alright, so equip this and just smack it right down. First of all, I'm going to use the PDW, and when all the zombies are going to huddle up in a ho horde, I'm going to go and just mow them down with the minigun. Alright. A three. A two. A one. A bam. Here we go. The horde has awoken. Oh, Jesus, here we go again, eh? Here we go again. All right, look at all them coming in. I want to wait for them to, um, yeah, all come in. And it's for all them to be just one little, yeah, to be all together. Then I'm going to mow them down with a minigun. Come here, boys. Okay, that's pretty, pretty interesting. Yep, all right, come here, boys. Come here. Come here, yep, you can miss. Okay, run through. That's pretty dangerous. I should have eaten and drunk before this, but I didn't, so now, yeah, that's not good. Alright, come here, I'm gonna, I want all of you to be in one little horde yet, so I can mow you down. Alright, in that case, here we go! And, and, BAM! Oh, yes! Oh, yes, look at this! Look at this! 
Nice. So that was like these like 50 zombies. Take a screenshot of that. Nice. Right. Yep, that was literally like 50. Let's quickly count. One, two, three. Maybe like 20, 20, 30 zombies, something like that. We've got to do this like three times and we should be done. All right, and again, I'm going to go and get them all to, you know, group up and group up. To group up and a horde and, yeah, then I'm going to hold them all down. Beautiful, beautiful. Come here. Come here, all of you. Look at all these bodies and blood. Oh, jeez, they're all disappearing. All right, come here, boys. Come here. We used up around, I don't know, uh, 60, 70 bullets from our gun. Not that bad. We should have enough ammunition in just this single health to take them all down. And we're also going to get way more weapons after this. So, yeah. Come on. All of you into our huddle. Oh, Jesus. Only generally managed to do one horde in all the previous episodes. You know, I did one horde per video. So today I want to hurry up and maybe do two horde beacons in one episode. But anyway. Uh, yeah, let's just deal with these guys first. Alright, come on. You can come over. And you can come over into the horde, good. Now we've managed to pick up quite a big group, I must say. Yudi can join in as well, yep. Oh, okay, they hit me. Yeah, come on, beautiful. Yeah, Yudi, I think we're gonna collect a few more, then I'm gonna mow them down again. Come on, you can join in as well, so you run through. Beautiful, I'm just gonna disorientate them. Yeah, you can come here too, good. And run through, they all miss, beautiful. Yep, it doesn't seem like there's any more spawning in, so... Yeah, let's mow them down. Load a gun, and... Nice. Good. That's that dealt with. We had to go with farther around 60 shots. Cry key. The big guy's gonna spawn in very, very soon. I can tell you that. Alright, there's one guy behind me. A few guys for the melee. Yeah, do that. Good, beautiful. Okay, out he hit me. Look at all this. Alright, yeah, the big guy should spawn in very, very, very soon. We used up around, yeah, 100 bullets. 100. 40 bullets, yeah, in total. Come on, let's put them all in a group again, mow them down, and then, yeah, get in the big guy, take down the big guy, and move on to the next horde beacon, which is either gonna be somewhere else or in Hulakai Harbor. Depends if Ensign Stewart has more missions for us. Anyway, come on over. They come in nighttime, which is ideal. It's gonna be dark, but whatever. Hey, yeah, come on over. Come on over, good. Come here, and you come here, and you come here, good. There's some more guys over there, beautiful. All of you in a huddle, beautiful. Come on. Come on. The big guy hasn't spawned in yet, but he should spawn in very soon. Alright, we got at least like 10 dudes in there. Good, let's throw those guys into the pile as well. Yeah, you can come over too. They come over. I don't know why, but you seem very, very big. Oh, never mind your normal size. But if he did look big. And let's get that bloke to come over. And then we can mow these guys down. Because I don't think anymore are gonna spawn. I think we reach the spawning limit. Come over, bro. Yeah, you need a weapon. Like, to beat this, you definitely need a very good weapon. Like, look how many guys spawn. Well, anyway, now let's mow these guys down. Luckily, they're very slow, so yeah. And. Ba -ba 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 bam! Nice. Uh, one, no, two guys survived. We're gonna beat them up. Beautiful. Scrap them, right? Some more guys spawning in, so you gotta be quick. Come on. Die. And you can die too good. And you, and you, yeah, come on, come on, come on, stop, stop, just die, there we go. Alright, here they come, the big guy should spawn very soon, we killed at least like 50 of them so far, I mean, and remember, we need to kill 100 of them. So yeah, we definitely killed close to 100 by now, so the big guy should spawn in very soon, very, very soon, even maybe this wave right now. Yep, here he is, here is the big guy, let's, let's rally up all the small guys, kill all the small guys, and kill this big, huge bloke. Yeah, let's realize how fast the big bloke is, okay, this isn't, this ain't too good. Hmm. Alright, let's deal with the small blokes first, then I can deal with the big bloke. Hey, come on, come over. How many bullets do we have? 55 bullets? Not too much, I must say. Alright, come on over, all of you. Come on over, right? That should be everyone. Alright, in that case, yep, yeah, avoid that. And. Wait. And. Nah, it's not. Let's kill the big guy, shall we? And. Nope, we're out of ammunition. Okay, that's the minigun empty. Well, search to the PDW, shall we? Alright, avoid that. Kill off that bloke. And. Beautiful. Yep, now we just got the big bloke left. Alright, let's kill you and we should have enough time to move on to the second horde beacon today. That's pretty cool, because I said we only managed to do one horde beacon per episode normally. So, you know, if we do two today, that's going to be pretty good. Anyway, let's take this dude down, shall we? Avoid that and now let's fire at him. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. He did take quite a lot of hits from our oh, Hell's Fury from the minigun. So he shouldn't have too much health. And the PDW does have quite a lot of shots in it, so yeah. And there's quite a lot of damage. Right, come on. We can't change this to, um, yeah, auto fire, so it carries on firing rather than just me spamming the button. I think that's what I'm going to do. Auto, there we are, good. And. 
Bam, he's dead. Okay, that was very easy. Although, it still says, yeah, clear Alika bases in a horde beacon. I don't think it's done. I think there's still one bloke somewhere here. Because it's still not done. Look, the horde beacon is still active. Okay, either the game glitched or there's one more bloke still alive here because the horde beacon is still active. It's not done yet. There's still one more guy around. Yeah, we killed the big guy. We killed the big boss. But I think there's still one zombie just hiding somewhere. Where are you? Could be anywhere, really. Okay, I'm gonna find him and take him down. God damn, there's one guy that evaded me. Oh, he could be anywhere. This place is so big it's becoming nighttime already well let's fight him and take him down um i don't see him that's the thing though i don't see him it's becoming nighttime which ain't ideal it means it's gonna be dark and i won't be able to see a thing which is pretty bad um no don't switch to that um yeah i don't see anyone maybe there's someone up here no doesn't look like it jump down break our legs i kind of guess eat and drink but i don't see anyone there's definitely still like at least one zombie still around this just, I don't know where he is. I don't see him. I just simply just don't see him. Um, he could be anywhere, to be honest. Uh, I guess let's just, yeah, look around the base so you can find him. Maybe, like, stuck in the water or something. He could be anywhere, technically. So let's just find him and take him down. Right, I hear him. Where is he? I think he's, like, stuck. Yeah, he's stuck down here. Oh, they're stuck down here. A oh, poor blokes. They got stuck down here. Ha. Fools. Let's take him down, shall we? Come here. That's one, and that's two. No, nope. two, there we are. That's done. Those are the only blokes that are still alive. Good. Everyone's dead. The Horde Beacon in Alaka Base has been cleared. There's a few Avengers up here. I guess I could take some of those. I'm, I'm, I'm going to come back for those. Anyway, for now, let's check out our loot. And, yeah. Reload MPR, all the weapons, all that good stuff. Right, done. That's Horde Beacon Alaka Base done. What did you get? This is terrible loot. Military drum, pretty good. A Desert Falcon, two Desert Falcons, that's pretty good. A Fragmentation Grenade, Health Fury Drum, that's very good. And an Echo Magazine, alright, that's actually pretty good. Military Drum, that's good, we can fill that, yeah, we can swap that for this one. So we can reload this, good. The Health Fury, I would say, is gonna is empty, but we found another drum for it, so we can take this out. We can throw this down, but then we can go and pick this up, because we found another drum. Where is it? There it is, good. So we found another drum, which is beautiful. There we are. So we reloaded our huge machine gun, minigun even, the mini minigun's full again. The PDW does have quite, out of quite a few shots, but we can pick up this, and now we have another spare, yeah, magazine for that. Frog grenade, very good, it's gonna help us out of the future ones, quite a few falcon stuff. Yeah, and then we have the echo magazine. The echo is a sniper rifle. I don't have the echo, therefore I'm not gonna pick up the ammunition for it. For now, let's just pick up one desert falcon, I'm missing space, am I? How big is a desert falcon, right? I can make that much room, can't I? Can move this down here. They can move the cheese over here. And then I can eat. No, I can just drink this. Here, you can go and drink this. Yep, yeah, come on, let's drink this. Beautiful. I need this desert falcon, goddammit. Oh, my inventory is always such a goddamn mess. Right, I can move that and can move this over here. Okay, this won't necessarily work now, will it? Actually, to be honest, I can go move you up here. Move you up here. Move you up here, and then move you up here. Good, and I can move you down here, or anywhere technically, and I can go and pick up you. The Desert Falcon, nice. It's literally a deagle, in other words. Issue is, I don't necessarily have room for said deagles down here. Whatever. Yeah, I don't have room to pick up its magazines, because I can still pick up two magazines for it, but it's simply just not have room to pick those up. The local of a civilian ammunition box. Will this refill? What will that refill, huh? Low caliber civilian ammunition box. I don't know if it's gonna refill, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna dump it. Yeah, let's dump this, and then you can pick up, uh, yeah, this. Yeah, you can actually, first of all, pick up this. Yeah, we can, wait. You can pick up this. Let's quickly drop the PDW. Yeah, good. Drop the PDW. Pick up this Desert Falcon. Have a look at it. Uh, nice. Looks very nice, right? Cool. We can take the magazine out of it. Nice, and drop the empty one. Good. And then pick up this spare magazine, and then pick up our PDW again. Beautiful. All right, that should be that cleared out. That's the empty magazine. That's the thing that I'm not going to take, and that I'm, that I'm not going to take. All right, beautiful. In there, we did leave a what shall I call it? Um, what did we leave in there? Oh yes, there was Avenger, but I've added, I don't have room for it in my inventory, so we're not going to bother with that. Anyway, cool. So yeah, we managed to. So pretty much, we didn't lose anything today. 
I mean in this horde we refilled our health fury and we have another uh, military drum so we pretty much only earned via this which is pretty good anyway let's go back to the HQ and tell Stuart that I've cleared out Alaka base and see what's next good all right Stuart I cleared a base I've cleared out the base everyone's dead and yeah all right Stuart mm. anything to report I scouted out Alaka base yep yep there it is Cleared Alaka base for Horde Beacon. Cha ching cha chang done. Partially looted. Figures. Aegis probably already cleaned the place out. Yep. This location would be the would be key, but according to an old report, there have been sightings of a rather large zombie. Interested? Yeah, alright. What's next? Y Cola. Alright, we've got a clear Y Cola using a Horde Beacon. In the far north is another port city. Ain't signed Stuart thinks this location would be good for getting supplies safely across the island. Alright, why cola of Horde Beacon? Yet another harbor point we could use for supply runs. Alright, alright, good. So, yeah, that's that. Yep, good. Alright, cool. So now why cola for Horde Beacon? I don't have too much time left in this episode, but since I don't want to have episodes, you know, I don't want to have the episodes just simply one Horde Beacon per one, let's quickly go to why cola and do the Horde Beacon in why cola. And then afterwards, gonna be able to finish off then. Good. Alright, why cola, beautiful. So, yeah, let's just head to why cola and do that, shall we? Good. And yeah, actually, I do want to quickly talk to, what am I call it, Admiral Tyler, because before I was an ensign, then he promoted me to a lieutenant, but now will he promote me even higher? Any questions? No, I don't think he will. All right. The three main ranks to climb. Ensign, we already, yeah, done. Lieutenant, deputy lieutenant commander, and then lieutenant commander. Yeah, okay. So we are currently a lieutenant. I want to go and become a lieutenant commander. I don't know when he's going to promote me. Then you have the main ones, Admiral uh, Admiral, Captain, and Commander. I don't think I'm gonna be any of those, but I think the highest we can rise to is Lieutenant Commander, so let's try to get to that. But yeah, at least we are currently a Lieutenant, which is pretty good. Anyway, let's go to Waikola. And yeah, deal with this place. Here we are, Waikola. Let's clear this place out, and then we can finish off the episode after that. So we're gonna do the same thing that I did previously. Smack that hard beacon, blow up all the zombies, and yeah, be done. Alright, the zombies shouldn't get stuck anywhere, so we should be fine here. Let's first of all get a horde beacon. Uh, 1194, there we are. Um, that I spelled wrong or something. It is 1194, isn't it? Give Tabby Waver. I didn't mess that up. Yeah, give Tabby Waver 69.1194. There we are. That worked this time. Alright. Don't have too much room, so quickly gotta drop this. Pick this up and place it down. And pick up that gun again. Alright. A 3, a 2. It's very dark, ain't it? Mm. Oh well, three, two, one, boom! Here we go. Two hordes in one episode. Crikey, we're good. Let's quickly equip the grenade, and I do plan on actually blowing up a bunch of zombies with this one grenade. So yeah, let's group them together, blow them up, and then mow down the rest of the minigun. All right. Look at all these guys come. Oh Jesus. Yeah, this is, oh, okay. They're they're gonna get stuck over there. That's great. All right. I just realized that the game spawns in zombies and activates all the nearby zombies. Since we're in a pretty City is one of the zombies already around the place. So yeah, now this is happening. Okay, the game's really lagging. I didn't think this through now, did I? Probably should have cleared out the place first before I activated Horde Beacon. And issue is a few zombies get stuck on places like that. And oh Jesus alright. I think we kinda delay. I think it's gonna throw the grenade down and blow these guys up. Okay, let's run forward. Yeah, and throw the grenade. Throw it and come on, come on, blow it up, blow up, blow up! Blow up! There! I think that killed like none of them. I killed two. Oh, screw it. Mow them down, we shall. And. Bam, 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 how many more? I do not know, but definitely seems like quite a few. There's quite a few zombies over there, so we should probably kill them. Right? Yeah. Well, that is pretty powerful. I think, that, yeah, I think that was like most of the zombies killed already. Nice. Good. The big guys should spawn in very soon. I don't want to go and deal with those guys, so yeah. Okay, before all these guys come crowding out at us, let's quickly take these guys down, shall we? So, Ben, I think I gotta run up to the right. You guys can just stick around. I'm gonna get to you in a minute. Where is the staircase up, huh? Is there an elevator? Yeah, can I even go up? Oh wait, if I can't, I don't think I can get up there. Since I cannot get up there, I don't think I can kill them. 
Never mind, I can't. Okay, I can't. Good, we're fine. We're fine. Come on over. Yeah, come on over, all of you. Come on over. Is that everyone? I think that's nearly everyone. There you are. I think that's everyone. Alright, come on over. Come on over. Oh, don't hit me. Come on over. Come on, all of you. Come on, let's get everyone and hold them down again. Come on. Come on. Not missing anyone out. Come on. Ow, 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 ow. That's a lot of them. Okay. That's a lot of them. Come on. Alright, good. After we take down this group, that should be all of them killed out. There's a few left in the building. God damn it. Right, come on over. Come on over. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's a few zombies left in the building. We're gonna clear them out later. Let's take these guys to that big open field and take them down, shall we? And then we can go and deal with the guys left in the building later on. Alright, come on over, would you? Come on over. Alright, yep, yeah, there's lots of zombies in there. Come on, get out, get out of the building. Good. They can come over to. Okay, how are they still spawning? There's at least like 50 of them behind me already. Oh, Jesus. Come on, boys. Okay, there's the big guy. He already spawned. Oh, that's not ideal. Well, that's because we gotta kill these guys before he, that guy comes over. Alright, and. Fire! Ah, there's some guys over here. Right, beautiful. Okay, you survived well, didn't survive this. Beautiful. Well, right, kill those guys. Yeah, here he is. He's, here's the big guy. Alright. Before I kill him, I wanna go and first of all clear all the guys in this building. And then head up to the big guy. Let's kill these guys first, shall we? Beautiful. No, beautiful, good. You're dead. Anymore, or is it everyone? Okay, I think he's coming over. Oh no, it's still you. Come on. Good, you're dead anymore, or is it just the big guy? I think it's just the big guy left. Yeah, but alright, let's not get a good deal with the big guy, shall we? Jump out the window, and there he is. Let's take this dude down, shall we? Come on, I'll take it to the big field. Come on over, bro. <laughs> he took down the lamp, crikey. Well, two hard beacons in one episode. We're good. We're good. Let's take him down. And there, he's dead. All right, that was pretty easy. I must say, the Hell's Fury is amazing. It mows down everything. There's still a few zombies left. Ah, oh, god damn it. Where the hell are they? Yeah, that was in on the last one. There's still a few left. All right, where are they? Hmm, yeah, they're still emitting a signal. There are still some guys around. Probably got stuck in probably like places like these. Hmm. I don't hear I don't hear anyone over here. But there could be someone over here. Um No right no one over there. Water, no, they could climb out of there. They're probably stuck in that building again, uh, in that hotel, yeah. Yeah, alright, wait, there's a helicopter on there. Wait, 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 There's literally a full on helicopter. Crikey. Shame that I don't know how to fly helicopters in this game. Oh there he is! Well we found the bloke that was stuck. Where were you, bro? Oh no. Where were you? Oh, stop. Yeah. Where the hell were you? God knows. But, well, at least he found you. Yeah, it's the La Vista. Oh, he survived. Well, he didn't survive this. Huh! Beautiful. There we are. He was the last guy left. Huh, such a, you know, weirdness. Okay. Uh, okay. Don't know what I clicked. Uh, uh, no. Okay. Don't know what the hell I was clicking, but alright. What was the button to go flying again? The fly camera. Wait, wait, wait. Stop. 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 Did it go flying around again? It's no okay. Oh Jesus! Give me a second. I just want to cool your mind myself. The button to fly around, to, you know, flying camera is Control H. No, it's Control something. No, not that. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, whatever. Anyway, now here we are. What did you get? We got a Nara Nikorev. Nice. Another military drum, good Ranger ammunition box, caliber, and an RPG. Yeah, be right. Pretty cool. A Grizzly magazine. All right. Rather nice, but it does appear that it, yeah, we didn't get another Hell's Fury magazine. So therefore we only have 12 shots left and then the Hell's Fury is empty. That's a shame. I liked the gun. Whatever, what can you do? So yeah, we're probably going to be able to use it in the next hard beacon. Anyway, cool. So let's quickly, yeah, go through this. Let's quickly, yeah, stand on top of it. So we have another Nikorov. Wait, that's a Nikorov. That's not a Dragon Fang, a Nikorov. That's another gun. Okay. That's complicated. That complicates stuff. We also have, yeah, Grizzly magazines. Then I have a Grizzly, so I'm gonna have those. The PDW. I guess I can, yeah, I can take the military magazine out of that one. So let's drop our one. Pick up this one. And take the magazine out of it. Good. My inventory is so goddamn full. Like, ah, Jesus. I dump you and pick up our PDW. Good. So now my inventory, yeah, it's full. Hmm. Alright. I need to clear out my inventory. When I dump the, um, yeah, if I would dump the Hell's Fury, then we'd have, then we'd make a lot of room. Yeah, I need to make some room, and the only way to make room is to get rid of the Hell's Fury. And Hell's Fury only has 12 bullets left. 12 bullets, they won't help us at all, will they? They won't even kill a single zombie. Alright, well, 
We're gonna have to go and yeah, dump Hal Fury here. Thank you, Hal Fury. You served me well. Nice. All right, good. That's the Hal Fury done. Thank you for your service. Hopefully, I'll see you soon one day. All right, good. That's my room made. Now we still have yeah, some room over there. I'm actually gonna go and equip the Timberwolf. You know, because the Timberwolf is a sniper rifle. And I think I prefer more of a yeah, close range. So now because we're gonna actually equip the dragon fang. Wait. Dragon fang or Nikara. I'm gonna actually equip the Nikara. Good, there we go. The Nikara, we have 200 shots in this box and no spur clips. Alright, good. So we're gonna be able to use the Nikara for the next horde beacon. Good. And it is gonna be our sour, yeah. A secondary, good. We can pick up the military drum and it's space. No, don't have any room. Huh. Yet again, no room. Pff, oh, Jesus. Okay, there's only one thing that I wanna pick up. I wanna pick up this. Military drum. You already quite have quite a few of these, yeah, high cap ammunition crates. Actually, I'm gonna swap these out just so we have a follow on there, good. But yeah, I'm gonna dump it. It's the only thing that I wanna take is the military drum, just so you can have a pretty full PDW. Issue is, I don't, I don't have room to pick this one up. Can I eat or drink? Yeah, I guess I could eat or drink. It's cool, you try to make some room, but it ain't gonna be easy, I must say. Drink this, good, then you can go and eat this. Or just one of those, good. Hopefully we'll make some more room. Good, and actually two of them. Good. Well, we're fully fed and drunk now. Is there enough room to make? No, I need two more room. Actually, no. Okay, I think we have enough room. I think we can actually make enough room. Can we? It does look like it. There we are. You got enough room. Beautiful. Now we can pick you up. Good. No. Okay, I'm just going to pick up manually. Good. All right, so now we're in the Korev. Once we use this, we're going to swap it for the next gun. And the PDW, we have two spare uh, yeah, magazines, and then obviously a spare military magazine, so that's pretty cool, yeah, yeah, so we have quite a lot of ammunition in the PDW, good, I'm actually gonna swap to the military, I'm gonna swap to the military magazine, just cause, why not, then you can swap to the, wait, oh, I draw. okay, never mind, I don't have room, I cannot do that, cause I don't have room, in that case, yeah, okay, so cool, you load you up, good, then I can go and pick you up, never mind, oh, I've made such a mess, okay, let's just, Stick of what we've got, yeah. Drop that and pick you up again. Good. And in that case, let's switch to this one. Good. The one with 60 bullets in. All right, beautiful. That should do it, right? Yeah, good. All right, we're fine. Okay, that's everything cleared up. Everything gathered. All right, good. That's done. I'm going to leave these here since I don't want them. I don't need them. That's empty. That's empty. Good. All right. That's done. Another horde beacon dealt with. Let's go and tell Stuart that we've cleared out another horde beacon and see what he says now. Let's see where he sends us now. Good. All right. Stuart. Oh, Stuart. I've cleared out another one. Anything to report? I scouted that. Why? Cola. Yep, cleared that place out. Beautiful. Alright, what are you gonna say now? Great work! We will have to send a boat over to grab some supplies. Right, what are you gonna say now? I think it's time we check out Hulakai Harbor. I think there's more than. Yeah, I think there's more to that harbor than meets the eye. Alright, I'll take a look. Yeah, Hulakai Harbor with a horde beacon. Alright, that's actually interesting. Because I have two missions to do that, yeah. Find as much evidence about the science facility that is there. I am curious to know if we can use it to our own advantage. Alright, good. So now here, here's the thing. He is sending us to Waikola. Uh, no, not Waikola. He's sending us to Hulakai Harbor, right here. So we have two missions. This one, clear out Hulakai Harbor. And the second one, also clear out Hulakai Harbor. Therefore, we have two Horde Beacon missions. And both of them have something to do with... The Hulakai Harbor. In that case, we can clear the Hulakai Harbor and complete two missions in one. So this one is just clear the harbor, and the second one is to clear the harbor and collect munition crates. So we're actually gonna track this one. Good. So in that case, yeah, let's head to Hulakai Harbor, and the next episode we can clear out Hulakai Harbor, collect the munition crates, and get two missions done and ticked off the list. Beautiful. All right. Hulakai Harbor. Here we go. Who Hulakai. There we are. No, I spelled it wrong. Oh, how the hell do we spell it? Oh, Holakai. Okay, great. Teleport. No, Holo. There we are. Here we are. Hulakai Harbor. So, yeah. Two missions to clear out one location. Therefore, as I said, once you clear out this place, we're going to get two missions done. So, yeah. Good. That's the plan. We're going to clear out this place, get two missions done. We're going to collect the munition crates from that facility over there. And then, with that done out of the way, we can go and, uh, yeah, go back and yeah, claim the rewards for two missions, which should be amazing. Anyway, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed the video, and hope to see you guys in the next episode, where we're gonna go, and we're gonna use these horde beacons. I never knew that horde beacons were so cool. I actually left out some horde beacon missions, like, in some other maps, because I thought that the horde beacons were just gonna be pretty boring. But it turns out the horde beacons are very, very cool. 
So from now on, I'm going to do all the hard beacon missions that I can because they're just simply so cool. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode where we're going to go. And we're going to clear out this harbor and collect these munition crates. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Where we're fighting hordes in a harbor and looking for submerged munition crates. Why not? Thank you for watching and I'll see you then. Goodbye!